everybody. Kurt Davis here with Real Estate Wealth Coaching. I want to thank you for joining me today. Um, I'm bringing you along with me today because I want to point out three areas that are very critical for someone who is doing fix and flip or retail flip. Uh, three important areas that you need to focus on when doing renovations. Uh, now this project that we're at here, this is a retail flip. And the three important areas that we're gonna talk about and showcase today are flooring is number one, and obviously kitchen and the bathrooms. So a lot of people will always ask me, how do you know what type of flooring, you know, we're gonna talk about the flooring here. How do you know what type of flooring to put into the house? As you, as you look at this flooring right here, this is what's called parquet flooring. This is something that they used to put in the houses a long time ago. It's actually in really good condition and it's super nice but the big problem is it's outdated and people are not installing this in homes anymore. Now you can see that we've got, obviously this is old carpet and it's coming out and stained, but then the question is, is well, what kind of flooring am I gonna come back in here and put here? Do we come back in with brand new carpet? Uh, or do we put tile or hardwood floors in here? How do we know what kind of flooring to put in? Part of what this comes down to is, is it, when I flip homes on a turnkey level for investment property's sake, there's a, a method to how we renovate homes for investors. Uh, there, you know, there's you don't have to over renovate those typical homes. But when we're doing retail, it's a completely different ball game. An actual home buyer expects more from the property. They expect it to be nicer, and especially in these three areas, they want to have very nice living room, kitchens, and bathrooms. So part of what I do when trying to determine what's hot or what's popular is that number one, I look online to see what other homes like this that are selling in the area, what kind of flooring do they have? And sure, there are trends out there. People watch the Property Brothers, Flip and Flop, HGTV, these home renovation shows. People get a lot of trend ideas from there. Uh, you know, but also, one thing that I do that really helps me is, is I will consult with the guy who does my flooring. So the company and the individual that I, I'm going to hire to do all my flooring, they are in more retail homes doing flooring for people doing retail flips than I do. So I will consult with them to ask, what's popular? What are you doing? Uh, and there's really kind of three flooring types that one could do in a property like this. So number one, we could come back in here with carpet if we wanted to. And it's nice and soft on your feet, but carpet is not what we are going to do here. That is not the popular trend, especially in high traffic areas. That's kind of the key, high traffic areas. Uh, okay, luxury vinyl plank. Well, what that is, it's a glue down product and it's waterproof and it's really nice, but it's still a thin flooring. It's, it's, it's kind of hard to walk on. It looks nice. That's exactly what we put in our uh, investment properties for flipping in the high traffic areas. But that's not what we're gonna do here because we still have to go a little level higher quality. So then it really kind of comes down to, are we doing laminate hardwood flooring or are we doing glue down hardwood flooring? Now the glue down product is probably the nicest on the market, but because of the price range that we're in and seeing a combination of other people doing lower quality and some higher quality and consulting with my flooring specialist, uh, the laminate hardwood flooring is what we are going to go with in here and it's going to look fantastic. So uh, I've actually picked out, you know, if I can pull the photo up here, I'll show you a picture of what, I don't know how the quality is going to do, but this is the type of flooring that we're going to put in this property. As you can see, it kind of has a darker brown look with some semi-light accents in it. Uh, it's a real popular trendy color right now. And you know, the other thing that you have to take into account is, is that when I renovate a house like this, I necessarily can't renovate this house to my personal specific liking because I'm not the one living in here. I'm not gonna be living in this house. So I have to universally renovate this home to make it look as nice as possible to the masses, if that makes sense. So that flooring that I just showed you, that's what we're gonna put down in, in the entryway, in this front room, in the dining room, and then also in the back main living area in the little hallway right before you hit the bedrooms. Now in the bedrooms, I'm still gonna stick to carpet. A lot of people still like carpet in bedrooms. So that's what we're gonna do in terms of flooring. Let's go into the kitchen and talk about the kitchen. All right, everybody. So the second thing that everybody needs to look at when you're doing a retail quality renovation is the kitchen. 
Now, the easy thing, the, the, the simplest thing we could do is we could just completely blow everything out, rip out all the cabinets, countertops, throw it all in the garbage bin, and start off fresh. But again, you have to know your area, the price range, and the market that you're dealing with. These cabinets are in fantastic condition. All we're gonna do to the cabinets here is we're going to give them a fresh coat of paint, but we're gonna put on brand new hardware. We're gonna update the poles and the hinges. And that's what we're gonna to do to all the cabinets here. Now, it's kind of a standard that in a home like this, we're gonna do granite countertops. Uh, there's a lot of people like Corian and marble and things like that, but granite is the, I guess what you would call like the universal grade type countertop that you're going to put in a home like this, especially when you're doing a flip in this price range. So we're going to do new granite countertops on both sides here. Now this sink, when they do the granite countertops, we're going to have an undermount sink. That's very standard. Everybody wants to undermount sink. We're going to have a new faucet here and everything like that. So we're going to renovate that part of it. Uh, if this cooktop works completely, we're gonna leave this as well as the dishwasher because they both look very nice. But again, we have to test them out. And they look, you know, they're fine. But right here, we've got this very old school Whirlpool double oven. I am going to bet that this is original to the home. You know, it's kind of crazy because when you open it up, for the most part, for something this old, it's really, really clean on the inside. And honestly, it probably works fine. The fact that it's been here this long and still works is incredible. But this is not what new home buyers are looking for. So we're going to have to update this and put in a brand new double oven setup. Um, and we're going to do new back, I believe we're going to do some new backsplash on this because there's a high probability that once we remove the countertops, they might get damaged. If not, and they're still in great condition, we'll leave them. So that is yet to be seen. But again, when we're renovating a home in this particular price range, I have to renovate it with the majority of people in mind. I have to look clean. So most likely we're gonna paint these cabinets white. Good paint white, and we're gonna put brand new poles on it. I may do the darker bronze look. I like that personally, but it's, it's a real popular look. Um, the flooring in here is in good shape. Uh, the light fixture is fine, so it's really we're going to be doing countertops and touch-ups to the kitchen cabinets. Now, if this was a higher-end property, if we were selling this house for five, six hundred thousand, we would have to remove these cabinets and do completely brand new custom cabinet design in here. So uh, that's what that price range would design. But since we're going to sell this house in that three hundred and forty thousand dollar range, uh, this is this is going to be just fine. So. That's gonna kind of wrap up this particular segment on the kitchen. We're gonna move on to the bathrooms. All right guys, so the third thing that we focus on in a retail flip in terms of the inside of the property is the bathrooms. So we covered the flooring, we've covered the kitchen, and now we're gonna talk about the bathrooms. So this house, is a little unique because this is the, from where we're at right here, this is the half bathroom portion of the home on the main level. But as you can see, it opens up and kind of Jack and Jill's in to the master bedroom area of, of this whole bathroom suite that we have here. So when you look at a bathroom like this, again, I have to look at it and I've said it, you've heard me say it a few times already, but I'm gonna say it again. I have to look at how am I gonna renovate this home in terms of what it's going to, who it's going to appeal to the most. So even though this tile here on the flooring is in incredible condition and there's nothing wrong with it at all, I have to update this. I have to make it fresh. I can't, I cannot leave it in this old style. So the plan will be to completely rip out and install brand new tile. Uh, we're gonna do 12 by 24 inch tiles. Uh, it's gonna look incredible. The same granite countertops that we're going to put in the kitchen, we're also gonna put as the countertops here in the bathrooms. Now we're gonna leave the vanity bases, they're in great condition, and they actually look just like the kind that they sell at like Lowe's or Home Depot, or they're just a very uh, stock type cabinet. But we're gonna paint that white and put new hardware on it, it's gonna look fantastic. We're gonna do a brand new mirror, lights, obviously we're painting in here, new toilet. Uh, it's essentially gonna, gonna completely transform this bathroom. But when you come into this area here where we've got uh, the tub, for example, again, like I said, this one's a little more unique because it all flows and blends in. 
we're going to completely rip out this whole tile surround here and we have to update this as well and we're going to bring the tile all the way up and we're going to do a new shower head and handles and faucet and and everything in here and this in this part of the bathroom here this master portion now everything that we did in the half bathroom part that we just spoke about we're going to do that right here in the master as well so it's going to it's going to completely match so uh, again, it's got it's got a it's got a look. The goal is is that we want people to come in here and, and kind of have that wow factor. It's going to be very nice. They're going to like it. Uh, so, but that's the bathroom. The bathroom is the third part. So we've talked about flooring, we've talked about the kitchen, and we've talked about the bathrooms. And on the interior of the home, those are probably three of the most important areas that, as someone who's doing a retail flip, that you need to focus on because. You know, you hear a lot of times, it's kitchens and bathrooms, it's kitchens and bathrooms, but it's kitchens, bathrooms, and flooring. So hopefully that you guys will, and we'll be doing some more video on this particular flip so that you can see what it looks like when we're done. But uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys thought. Let me know if you think the kitchens and bathrooms and flooring uh, are, are those important to you? Did I miss anything? Let me know what you thought. So. Stay tuned guys because we'll be doing more footage from this particular property so you can see what it looks like when we're done.